Hey guys, it's Miss Heidi. Uh, we miss you guys in Skills and Frills. So we thought since we couldn't do class at school, maybe we'd do a few projects while you guys are out. Uh, all the projects we're gonna do, we're gonna try to bring you one each week and they won't have a ton of supplies because I know it's hard to get out these days. So we're gonna try to use the stuff that you might have lying around. And at the end of each video, we'll tell you what to expect for next week. So that way you can be prepared and maybe start saving stuff, okay? So today we're gonna work on a really cool project. On these really cool foldy uh, art projects. So as you can see, like here's my one monster. And then when I open them up, he's totally evil in there. He's got some slime coming off of his teeth. He might eat us, who knows. I also like that he has a mustache and really cool eyebrows. Um, this is one we did, um, when you just look at it, it's just a snake, right? Just a regular snake. But then when you open him up, oh, he's a super long snake. Um, Emma's here, Miss Emma, if she's your teacher, she's social distancing with us. She's really thrilled about it. And I don't know if some of you know Alice. She's been in our class a few times. Um, they're both working on projects. We'll show you those uh, when they get a little closer to being done. But you guys can really use your imagination and do anything with these. I'm gonna show you how to start with the paper. Okay guys, now we're gonna fold our paper. We really just want to make a third uh, fold. So what we're going to do here is usually you can use your hand. That's a great first fold so you know exactly where to go. And use your finger to crease it. You really just want to make sure that the sides are lined up. That'll help give you a straight fold. You can even use your fingernails to make sure that crease is really great, okay? We're going to do that on both sides, okay? Now that we have our first fold, we're gonna fold that over and we're gonna fold again. Same idea. We're gonna see how much room we need. This is gonna be one side, so it will be a, the smaller side of our picture. We're gonna line up our edges and then use our fingers to make a great crease. Okay, I'm gonna show you the fold again on this skinny piece of paper. Again, this is just a regular piece of eight and a half by 11 copy paper that we've cut in half. So again, we're gonna make our first fold. I want this, I've decided this is going to be a hot dog. So I, I don't need any difference in the front and the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this half. Again, I'm gonna crease it. And then I'm gonna make yet another fold just like this, making sure that my edges line up before I put pressure on that crease, okay? And this is my folded paper, okay? So we're gonna make this a hot dog. I'm gonna start by sketching the outline of a hot dog with my paper folded, okay? That's how we wanna start, with the paper folded. No matter what you're going to do, you always start with the paper folded. My hot dog obviously has a bun, And then the hot dogs are just sitting on top. Okay, does everybody see that? I have my bun and my hot dog inside, okay? Then I wanna open it up and I'm gonna connect these. So when you first see my picture, you're gonna think it's a regular hot dog. But when I open it up, it will be a foot long hot dog. I'm gonna use this uh, black pencil, this black colored pencil, so you guys can see those lines better. Okay, so you see I have the outline of my hot dog bun and my hot dog. When I open it up, what I'm gonna do is connect these lines. So my bun is gonna get longer. And then my hot dog's gonna get longer. Okay, so you can see that. Ends, regular size. Out, it's a foot long. So now we're just gonna use our colored pencils to color our hot dog in. Oh, that's a little dark for a bun. 
Let's see what we got. Okay guys, I hope that you're having fun working on your folded art projects. I'm gonna show you a few that we finished up, okay? She ended up doing a fisherman. Emma, you wanna uh, unfold it for us? <gasps> See, look at that, she's reeling in a fish. Super cute. And you saw my hot dog, which goes to a foot long. We have our monster, whose mouth is drooling with slime, and our cute little snake. snake. Alice is over here. She's still working on hers. She is working on a Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. that gets taller. Can you show us what he looks like folded so far? So folded, it looks just like Mike Wazowski so far. Mm. And then when she opens it up, he's going to be huge. Is it going to be his mouth that's open? Yeah. Okay. I hope you guys had a great time making your expandable art today. I would love to see what you guys came up with. You guys are some of the most creative kiddos out there. And I'd love to see what your expandable art looks like. So don't forget to put pictures of your art or a little video on our Instagram or Facebook pages. Uh, we're skills, the letter N, frills on both of those platforms. Again, it's skills N frills on both Instagram and Facebook, but definitely uh, tag us. Let us see what you made. We'd love to see it. Um, next week, we're going to start a project called Bottle Bracelets. We've done this in class once. It's super fun and you should have everything you need at your house, but I want you to start collecting this week so that way you have it available for next week, okay? The only thing you're going to need besides some markers is going to be these uh, plastic bottles. This is a buy bottle. I find it to be one of the best sizes um, to make bracelets. You can use pretty much anything. If all you have are soda bottles, we definitely can start there. That would be a really big bracelet, but um, you wanna pick something that is on the slimmer side if you have it. Buy sparkling ice. Um, sometimes the one liter bottles are great, but start collecting a few bottles. Um, if you have a 20 ounce uh, beverage, things like that. The smaller size bottles are the best. Start collecting those. And next week we'll uh, show you how to turn really cool bottles into really cool bracelets. I hope you guys have a great day. Hopefully uh, things are going well in your house. Don't forget to wash your hands and I can't wait to see your expandable art. See you next week.